Many of us know or love someone on the autism spectrum. Autism looks different for every person, making it challenging to study, diagnose, or treat. But a new innovation from Children's Hospital of Philadelphia is poised to transform diagnosis and treatment. It can accurately detect who has autism in just three minutes. The biometric sensor, nicknamed the sensor tree, fills a crucial gap in our ability to accurately and objectively track the effects of new therapies. Invented by the Center for Autism Research at CHOP, the sensor tree promises to be a game changer for people with autism and other neurological conditions. Yeah! The new technology picks up more physical and behavioral characteristics than any expert or patient can observe or perceive. It is a portable system that can record and digitize all outward expression of human behavior. It has two high-resolution video cameras, each with a 160-degree field of view and two directional microphones per camera. Using markerless motion capture technology, the sensor tree records every subtle facial movement. Then, its specialized algorithms sort these movements into 180 distinct facial signals. Simultaneously, it creates a 3D representation of each person's body, recording the movements of more than 25 major bones and joints. Having autism isn't a bad thing. It doesn't characterize who we are. It also records what each person says and how they say it, using automated speech recognition and natural language processing to measure speech patterns and acoustic qualities. When paired with wireless wearable technologies, the sensor tree can synchronize additional biometric data like heart rate, temperature, sweat, and even brain waves, which might signal anxiety or arousal. And auxiliary accelerometers and gyroscopes can assess gestures and repetitive behaviors. Together, these precision measurements can paint a highly detailed digital portrait of each person's behavior and biology, called a digital phenotype. The technology can collect data from individuals alone and in groups of two or more. When used with multiple people, data from each individual is aligned across time, providing in-depth analysis of social and communicative behaviors. The sensor tree tracks coordinated facial and body movements between social partners. Its algorithms statistically quantify the amount of alignment between the individual's movements. People with autism show less synchrony with conversation partners. By analyzing the degree of coordination in people's facial expressions during a three-minute conversation, the sensor tree is able to detect with 90% accuracy whether a person has autism. The sensor tree is currently being used with adults and children as young as six years old, and it's now in trials with infants as an early screening tool for autism and developmental delays. Nice job. The sensor tree system can also gauge subtle changes in behaviors across time that can indicate whether symptoms are improving or worsening, and whether an alternative treatment should be considered. The sensor is portable and affordable, making it ideal for home use and telemedicine. The device collects hours of data that a patient's medical team can access securely. Those trained clinicians then have a rich data set to use in making a diagnosis, evaluating treatment progress, or observing side effects. When integrated with genomics data and expert guidance from the patient's care team, the sensor tree provides the possibility of delivering tailored treatments based on a patient's full genetic and behavioral profile. And while the current test case is autism, it should have wide significance across neurological and mental health conditions. The Center for Autism Research at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, creating a new generation of technology that will revolutionize diagnosis, treatment, and care.